first pass in storm, baby. Let's go. Storm sound good going by. Oh, give me a web. <laughs> Golly. Now you guys sit here and tell me if you saw this truck going down the road, would you at all think this truck is gonna make the noise that's about to come out of this thing? be dipped in shit and rolling breadcrumbs. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day out there. As you can see, we are at the racetrack. We are at Silver Dollar Motorsports in South Georgia. We also got Storm. So as you see, we got both trucks. Storm has the fans on it because obviously we drove it all the way down here. And this track's about a two and a half hour drive. So Storm drove two and a half hours to get here. So we're cooling it down real quick before we make the first pass with Storm to see what all the improvements do on the quarter mile time. So hell yeah, let's get to it. do hit the brake pedal on accident instead of the gas no i hit the it. gas pedal but my foot slipped off oh shit that may have uh may have hurt us i don't know if you want go ahead and hit the button on top of my gopro and then pop it off the glass so you can roll your window down for her you good i got you all right so the afr stayed pretty good it got really fat at the end but it was like 10 to 6 when we crossed that ain't bad and I mean, in the middle range it we, got up to like as high as 11 6 but we, we no wanted higher. we wanted a little bit higher than that but at least it ain't 10 no, no it, it i mean it, it, it made a full pass without me having to tell you to let go i seen 11 6 and i was just about to say let off and then it, it got rich again i was like okay cool we're good I don't think they No, did. they didn't give us one. Okay, give me a number. Uh, seven. Se zero seven. Lucky number. Okay. <laughs> okay. You want me to look? Fourteen five. Not bad. Not bad. No, two point three sixty foot. That's what killed us. So you probably broke the beams a little bit, and then it, it probably it may have started counting when you missed the gas pedal a yeah. little bit. I don't know, because I think we. I mean, it's not bad. That's a whole second and what point two off? Fifteen seven, you said? Yeah. Fifteen so seven, fourteen 15, five. 7, so that's a second, second point two. One point two seconds. And ninety five miles an hour, almost. Almost ten miles per hour faster. Yeah. I think we can get it down a little bit with maybe a better hit.
right, so now we're gonna talk about Project Storm. So I got the best of two passes that we had for today. We had a few more passes. Um, some of those passes were, were learning curves for my buddy driving. Obviously, he don't go the drag strip all the time like we do. He's learning the truck, learning how to go down the track and everything. But this, these were the two best passes we had for the day on Project Storm. And again, for everybody that has followed the channel, you know, but this is a 2012 Ram 1500 Crew Cab 4x4 on the 20 inch stock tires and wheels, completely full weight, full interior, full carpet, nothing's removed. And honestly, there's stuff in the back um, as well. Like he's got some like camping gear back there and stuff. So the truck is loaded down as a daily driver. So pass number one, this was after we ran frostbite a couple times and I'm gonna guess, I wanna say the DA was probably poking around 1200 so, somewhere right there. And we ended up running a 14554 at 9483. And that was, uh, 60 foot was 2.396. So this is the stock RFE transmission six speed. And we don't have trans tuning on this yet. All we've been tuning on the truck is the engine. We have not been tuning the transmission at all. So we haven't changed shift points. We haven't changed anything transmission related. It don't even have the second prime tune in it yet. Strictly engine tuning only is what we've been doing on the truck as of right now. So I am actually very impressed with the time. If you remember bone stock, uh, Project Storm ran a 15.7, I believe, wasn't it, Ryan? 15.7 at, it was 80, 87 miles an hour. So 15.7 at 87 miles an hour. And now we're at, this pass was 14.554 uh, 14, at 94. So we picked up over a second. We picked up over 10 miles an hour. Not bad. Here's that time slip. Not bad for a daily driver. No intercooler, strictly on water meth. And when we looked at the logs, guys, going down the track, we were having 100 degrees even on the air intake temps going down the track today. Phenomenal. And that's running right out of the jug from Snow Performance. Pass number two. This was the very best pass, even with the DA going up a little bit more. Um, we ran 14.381. Had a 2.294 60 foot and 94.73 miles an hour. Not bad at all. I do believe with a little bit better uh, DA for sure, we would be 13s in the truck pretty easily, I believe. I think we could do 13s in the truck, probably 13 eights pretty easily. The DA at the time of this time slip was actually 1959 was a DA. So I'm stoked with that number. And a thousand DA or less, that's a 13 second quarter mile easily guys. So there you go. Project Storm Frostbite. Made it to the track today. We ran the crap out of the trucks. Both trucks did great. I'm stoked. I can't wait for maybe another couple, few more weeks where the temperature comes down some more and we can really, really run both trucks a lot better. I know Frostbite's gonna hit the track some more. Storm may not. This may be it for the rest of the year for Storm. It just depends on time and work schedules, but that may be it for Storm as of right now. Frostbite, we are gonna make the track at least one more time before it closes up. So. I am hoping we're going to hit a 10. So guys, please cross your fingers for me. I want that 10 second pass. And uh, that's it, guys. Don't forget, hit that like button. Comment down below what you think. We're going to run in a better DA on Frostbite. And as always, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.